when you talk about your health or your body, all the systems are one. From an emotional being, you know, to your, from a <coughs> physical, yeah, physical, mental, emotional, and mental. Yeah. All these three systems mm. are interconnected mm. and they affect each other. Mm. So what I found out about myself is that with time, you see, the way I was raised, uh, I'm not, uh, <laughs> people don't get me wrong here. So the way we are raised, the way I was raised in that uh, my, from, from my young age, you know, in the morning we go to school, we come back at uh, four or five, five, we shower, do our homework. After that, we go to bed, right? As kids, right? And uh, we never got time with our parents. People don't know that uh, from the age of one to seven, that is where a person, that's where you collect most of the beliefs that you held in your life, okay? So from the age of one to seven, <coughs> your brain is like a sponge, mm -hmm. okay? Your prefrontal cortex, which is a conscious brain, hasn't yet developed. So the only active part is a, is a subconscious brain. Your subconscious is where your beliefs are stored, okay? These beliefs are used to map out and to make sense of the world. So when a child from one to seven, for example, goes through anything, he picks the thought, he picks what he hears, he picks what he sees, and he internalizes it as a belief, and that is how he'll continue seeing the world for the rest of his life as a filter. So from my young age, like for me, uh, you know, our parents used to push us to, you know, you have to succeed, you have to be number one and all that. So from that strictness of my dad, I think, I formed the belief that I'm not lovable enough, which is not true. Okay, mm. okay, my parents love me, of course, right? But as a kid, one to seven, you don't have that conscious the brain, reasoning. the reasoning exactly yeah. mm. to reason what, you know, the activities of parents or mother and father, mm. right? So <clears throat> I even saw this across my life, right, in that... Uh, I became much of a people's pleaser, right? Mm -hmm. Because <clears throat> as a young age, I formed the belief that I'm not lovable enough. So I had to do things to be worthy of my parents' love, right? Be worthy of my parents' attention, right? So at that time when the disease 20, 2019, it came, it was more of an attention in that uh, there was a need inside myself there was that young Zubair inside of me that still craved for attention, which he didn't get when he was young, right? So if an emotion can't find itself in tears, it will make other organs weep. Mm. 